How's it going everybody? Today we are going to be doing a quick video on installing these exhaust cutouts. They are your uh, manual style exhaust cutouts. You gotta get out, get down here and take off the plate to uh, get them to work. But they can eventually be upgraded to the electric cutouts if you'd like. And um, so I'm gonna do a quick little guide on how to install these. I'll do it on this side and then uh, I'll be doubling it for the other side. So what you'll need is a tape measure. You'll need your exhaust cutout piece. Um, my kit came with these clamps. I think they all do if you're buying a kit. Um, safety glasses, I would say are optional, but you should have them. And a saw. I have this um, cordless sawzall. Um, put, you can do it with the grinding wheel. You could even do it with a handsaw. Uh, this is just gonna make it a little faster and Yeah, that's about it. So we'll jump right into it first things first um, What I did was I measured I measured the cutout itself came out to about 12 and a quarter Okay, and then I went down there and I measured out the outside line is a 12 and a quarter line on each side so that line and that line that's your 12 and a quarter mark and then I measured this gap and this gap here which is one and a one and a quarter each and that's what those inside lines are so um, this the way this works is you cut out that those inside lines and then this should slide over onto your exhaust pipe And then once it slides over, you'll put on your exhaust clamps to hold it down. You can weld those into place if you want. What? So you'll slide this over your exhaust pipe if you got the right size one. And then this will go over that and clamp it down and hold it in place. And hopefully you won't have any exhaust leaks through there. You can also weld these into place, which we'll eventually be doing. But for now, I'm just going to be doing it with these for for the sake of the video so welding is not required for this um, but it is a preferred method I guess so I already measured it out I marked it with a sharpie so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out that inside chunk and uh, test fit the uh, tube So I didn't mention this, but what I did was I didn't cut all the way through that one yet because if I did, this back one would be hanging down and it would be flopping all over the place as you're trying to cut this part. So I left that part, um, so I left that slightly attached and I'll come back there and just knock the rest of that off right now. Um, just a, a tip so this is easier to cut here on the back part. All right, so we got the pipe out. Now we're gonna test fit this one. So it slides right over there. And right into place there. So that's where our outside marks come in handy because we know how far to slide it into place. So now we know we have an oh, inch and a quarter of metal between these two. Like I said, we're going to be using exhaust clamps for this method. Eventually, it will be welded into place. 
So these are pretty simple. You just undo these nuts. This will hang over the pipe. So it's a pretty tight fit, so expect that. All right, and then you put the bottom piece back on. Pretty self-explanatory. And then go ahead and put your nuts back on. You want to tighten these down together equally or else you increase your chance of having an exhaust leak. These clamps work okay, but they're not the best. Sometimes you do get leaks through them. So let's get my hand tight for now, and then I'll come back through and tighten them down for real. So this is a pretty self-explanatory tip, but you want to make sure that when you're putting these in that these are pointed, you know, out sideways, not facing down. It might be tempting to kind of face them down to get that extra loudness, I guess, with it bouncing off the ground. But you will have very little clearance if you're in, you know, a, a lower car like the must like this Mustang is. So just keep that in mind. Keep in mind your clearance because when the car is up. You think, oh wow, I have so much space, but you know, when you set it down, you're gonna have very, very little clearance. All right, so the clamps are all tightened down, and that finishes the installation. It's really quite simple; um, doesn't take much time at all. And to uh, open your cutouts, all you do is take off these wing nuts and uh, pop off the cap, and you got, you know, uncorked exhaust, no mufflers. Um, coming straight from the headers, which I still have to bolt in.